Welcome to ProStitcher Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Let's walk through the steps of setting up a border with two corners and then placing a design in between the two. So let's start by moving the machine over to the left of my belt and setting up an area. All right, I'm gonna start in the top left corner, select my area tab, and then use my multipoint. And I will do multipoints and I will touch my refresh button, which is in my bottom right corner following, as you guys can see here, I am just following the outline of my border that I have set up here. Refresh again, come down, and I don't need to do the, the entire throat space of the area across this border, and then I'll just pay, place a few points on the way back, just for reference and touch refresh and you can see on my screen I've got my area all nicely set up. Now let's go in and select my designs. So we'll choose the file tab, design, open and I want to use one of my corner designs so I'll use the PS designs and then in the corners folder and I want to choose my leaves alternating corner and open this one. Now to get this over in the top left corner let's select the Modify tab and then Align from the Ribbon. In the sidebar, we'll touch Left and Top in the vertical. And now my design is placed in that top left corner. But as you can see, I need to resize it. Now I do not want to touch Baseline here because I want to have the Align that I've just set up hold it in place as I resize it. So I will select the Resize button on the ribbon press the lock button in the sidebar, and then just start using the plus button down here. And it doesn't matter whether you have width or height picked. And I'm just gonna start resizing that so that it will fit inside that area. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to use my reposition just to move it down a little bit with my nudge button over here in the sidebar. And it looks pretty great. At this point, now I'm ready to use the baseline button. So I'll touch my baseline over here in my quick access tools. And now I need to get the same design into the top right corner. So let's use the duplicate feature. We'll select the edit tab and touch duplicate. And it will duplicate a design with all those modifications that we just made onto the screen. Now once again, I want to get this into that corner. So let's go back to my Modify tab. The first thing I need to do is rotate this design. So we'll select Rotate on the ribbon. And I do not want to use my mirror or flip buttons here. You'll notice that this is a directional design. So I want to be sure and use my 45 degree rotation to rotate the design so that the start point stays on the left side of the design and the end point is on the right side of the design. Once again, to pop it into that corner, let's use our align tools. So select the align button on the ribbon and in the horizontal, we'll tap right and vertical, we'll tap top and it's gonna put it right in there. And that, that actually looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna reposition just a little bit. So once again, going back to the ribbon, touch reposition and I'm gonna use my nudge button and move it down just a little bit, and baseline. Now, you have a choice to make at this point. You can either stitch out each of these designs separately in the corners, which I do recommend when you're doing a larger quilt. There's always a little bit of um, draw as you're stitching, draw in as you're stitching, and we don't want, we want these corners to stitch exactly where they are. Um, however, you could, Go ahead and go to the next step if you want to, if it's a smaller quilt, and not stitch at this point. I am going to stitch, so let's go ahead and take a minute, and I'm gonna start with selecting the design in the top left corner. Bring my machine down here. Select the Pro Stitcher tab, Quilt. Make sure I've got the functions selected in the sidebar that I want, and then tap Run, and I'll go ahead and stitch this design out. Be sure to bring up your bobbin thread onto those threads. 
and we'll stitch it out. Design has just finished stitching. I'll go ahead and bring up my bobbin thread, clip my threads, and this is just a reminder, Pro Stitcher is going to select whichever design is selected. So I'll remember to tap the design over on the right on my screen. I'll move my machine over so it's at least close to where it's going to start. And we'll select the Pro Stitcher tab, quilt on the ribbon, tap run, Verify my settings, proceed, and we'll stitch out this next design, this next corner. We've finished stitching the design on the right side of the quilt. I'll go ahead and clip my threads. And we'll go ahead and now set up the design here in between my two corners that I've already stitched. So back to the screen, the first thing I need to do is set up a new area. So that means I need to clear the area that I have on my workspace. To do this, select the area tab, and then on the ribbon here, touch clear. And it will only remove that uh, area in between that we had set up here on the quilt. Okay, next we need to set up that new area. Now, this is where we need to, having the design stitched is really helpful because what I can actually do is set up my first point right where this stitching was. So I'm gonna move my machine so that it is right over where that last stitch was taken on this design, select my area tab, and then I will use my multi-point to drop points. And I'm gonna come down straight. Now this is really important. Looking on the screen here, you notice that my vertical crosshair is going through the middle of the pink area point that I have dropped. So I'm looking here and at the screen, and when I have both of those lined up, this is right to the bottom of where I want my area, where I would want to stitch on my area, I'll touch multi-point again. Now moving over to the right, I will drop a few more area points across here, just inside of the edge of my quilt. Now, once again, when I get over here to this end, I want to take a minute and look at the screen. I want to line up the vertical crosshair through the center of the green start point on this design here on the right, as you see. I'll drop a point here. Then looking down at the quilt, I'm gonna move my machine up so that it is right over that where that first stitch was taken in this design and drop a point there. Then I'll go ahead and move up to the top of where I want to set up my point along the top of this area. And I will drop some points going back across to the left. And then when I get over here to this side, this is once again, figure out where I want it to be here on the quilt. But then looking at the screen, I want to line up that vertical crosshair straight through that pink, that first pink um, square, the first pink area point that I dropped and do a multi-point there. Now, because I have set this up correctly, and it should match up right there with it. Okay, now we need to go and grab the design that we'll stitch in between these two area corners. These two corners, sorry, not areas. Two corners to go in the center area. 
So let's select the File tab, Design, Open, and in this Corners folder, every single one of these corners have a corresponding design available in the Continuous Line folder. So the design we opened before was this leaves alternating corner right there. So I will select Continuous Line, and then remember these are in alphabetical order. We'll go down and find the leaves alternating right here. And there is the design. And you can see right away that we need to resize this design. So let's actually use the repeat features to do this. So let's select the repeat tab. And basic is selected on the ribbon. Over in the sidebar, under horizontal, let's tap fill. And it will automatically fill that area with as many designs as can fit in there. However, we know that we want to make this taller. So let's tap vertical and tap stretch. And then go back to horizontal and let's take away and touch stretch again. And let's take away a few of these designs until we get it looking the way we want to. So we've got that stretch. That's looking pretty good. I like the way it looks. However, you can see that it is slight, the design is slightly outside of my area in a few places. However, my leaves are roughly the same shape as the uh, ones I've already stitched out. So I like the way that looks. I've gotten that all set up. So let's baseline. Then let's go into modify and let's use the skew so it will fit exactly inside that area. So modify tab, choose skew from the ribbon. Then we'll touch the border skew button. And you can see how that just made the design fit perfectly. Now at this point, I just want to show you this. If you are uh, wanting to stitch out all of the designs together, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit here, I can actually uh, combine these designs at this point if I want to. I only need to have the, I only still need to stitch out this center one, but if you want to stitch out all three designs at the same time, let me show you how to do that. Down here in the bottom left corner, first I touch the Select None button, then I touch the Multi Select button. I'll choose this design first on the left, the part in the middle that I just did second, and then the corner on the right last. And at this point, I could touch baseline and then stitch these out as one continuous design. So if you prefer to do it that way, you absolutely can. However, I just need to stitch the center. So I will turn off my multi-select, do select none, and then just tap this one in the center. I'll bring my machine down here. I am going to, don't forget to baseline before you stitch. We always baseline before we stitch. I'll select my Pro Stitcher tab. Quilt is selected. Tap Run, and we'll go ahead and stitch this out. And you can see here, because I very carefully set up those areas, how well everything matched up. Well, thanks for joining me for this video. We'll go ahead and let this finish stitching out. And I hope that you're able to get beautiful borders on your next project.